Hello class, so another way to paint with our watercolors is to first darken everything like with dark browns like you see here it's gonna give us like a wood texture to the gnome it's gonna make like a haze card from wood and then we can go on top so I'll show you with like light white how we can put highlights over that brown or if I wanted to give him a red head it will still pick it up but we would have all these pretty undertones of brown underneath it which is going to like I said kind of give it a wood look to it and um, you can choose the color of the beard really nice effects is if you have gold on your table you can add some gold accents like these we used a lot of silver and gold for the art exhibit that we had the other day in class, in school. All students exhibited beautiful artwork and we used a lot of gold for that one in class and silver. So some of these palettes that I gave you, special palettes, had silver and metallic paints on them and we used quite a bit of them. They're almost all gone now, but if you find some metallic, you can also add little highlights with metallic and um, make your gnomes glossy and uh, give him pretty accents. So that is a nice way to finish painting your gnome and give him a little different look. Another look is, of course, using the glow in the dark paints so maybe if you your group has the tickets you guys gonna go to the glow room and you would see how this glows better in the glow room but this is a gnome I made and in the glow room you're gonna have glow paints and you're gonna use them the same way you're going to use the fluorescent paints and just add accents like this and you're gonna just paint the same way you paint, paint painting with watercolors but using the glow paints and they're gonna glow for you nicely in the glow room so that's gonna be just using it by those who have the tickets for the glow room that's a special treat right so, this is how we add our glow paints and how we paint our gnomes with this alternative way. It's still going to look amazing um, without actually having to go ahead and glaze it. So, take your time painting your gnome. If you like to add little polka dots, you can do that like this. I use the end of the brush to add some dots on my head. And I showed you three ways how to paint alternatively without glaze your ceramic gnomes with our special watercolor sets, water-based special effect paints and now is your turn thank you for visiting our youtube channel